Hello, hello, baby, you called, I can't hear a thing. Who does he think he is, Scotty Gaga? Hey, I've got no service in my workshop, you see. Scott, I need your help. I just stained my project and the glue ruined it. What, what did you say? You're breaking up on me. The glue, it ruined it. I'm texting you a picture now. Ooh, that looks kind of nasty. We've all had a project ruined by nasty glue squeeze out, right? There's always some glue that squeezes out during the assembly process. We sand the piece, thinking we removed all the glue. Then we stain the piece, only to discover that there was still some glue left behind. The remaining glue prevents the stain from soaking into the wood, and what we're left with looks like a big, nasty bleach spot on our project. Regular glue just doesn't take stain. Recently I found Elmer's Wood Glue Max and noticed the bottle said it was stainable. A stainable glue? Is that even possible? I was intrigued, but also skeptical, so I decided to put it to the test. Recently I made some book match panels for a project. You can check out my how to make a book match panel video here. I used Elmer's Wood Glue Max to glue up the panels. I applied the glue, clamped the panels, and waited for them to dry. When the glue was dry, I scraped the excess glue that squeezed out and sanded the panels smooth. The panels look great, but did you notice that thin glue line between the two panels? There's also a thin glue line on the book match drawer fronts I made. It's nail biter time, guys. Will the Elmer's Wood Glue Max accept the stain and conceal the glue lines? Time to put it to the test. And here's the finished project. All I can say is, I had nothing to worry about. The results are amazing. You can't see the line at all. And check out the drawer. Is this gorgeous or what? I did find a few spots where the glue was slightly lighter than the surrounding wood, but it's hardly noticeable. I'm totally convinced Elmer's Wood Glue Max is now my go-to glue and the only glue I'll use on my DIY furniture. Thank you for stopping by. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out Saws on Skates for free DIY furniture plans and workshop tips. See you next time.